Who likes to work? I don't, so I'm going to hide from my boss all day to avoid doing it. That is, unless he can find me. There's a whole bunch of material for our new roof in our parking lot, so I gotta park somewhere else. Welcome to Hidden in Plain Sight. This is a series where one of my employees tries to hide from me in my own building, and my job is to put him back to work. Let's go. Okay. He took my chair? That's what's going on? A little pissed off about that. Okay, a little pissed off about my chair. It's so petty. It's so Danny. Let's start with the general sweep of the building. See, okay, it's probably Danny. Oh, this text is so long. <sighs> you may have thought you turned the tables after the last game, but I will find you this time. Oh wait, I don't want to be working and that'd be work. This is the game where you look for me, not the other way around. Uh, okay. How about you just take a personal day and get a spa treatment on the company? <sighs> Rules are the same and this one is a doozy, so you might as well give up. You will not win. You will be back to work very shortly. I've been doing some shopping recently. I bought a new vacuum cleaner. I'm gonna sit and sip lemonade while he vacuums the entire building once I find him. I do want to find my chair though. Anyone see my chair? I have not chair? seen your chair. What's going on with the chairs today? The back's missing out of that chair. They're all red herrings. Pretty standard, pretty normal looking kitchen today. I mean, you would think this is a clue, but I think this is just general mess. It's just some cotton balls. It's a weird red herring, or you guys just make the weirdest trash ever. I'm checking the cleaning closet because um, this would be the last place Danny would probably be. So that would be like a good place for him to hide, would be something to do with like cleaning or organization. The director's office, we got some delicious cookies up in here though. Oh, cookies. You know what? If you're gonna take my chair, this is Danny's chair. Make this look harder to sit in. Take my stuff, go into my office if I'm not here. Join that when you get back to work. Shouldn't have taken my chair! Danny, this is somebody working. <laughs> take a look at it. They're doing things that help the company make money. I wonder if there's a good poking stick in here. Danny? Oh, this is the best poking stick yet. Danny's all about like his explanation at the end. I'm looking at this first text he said about, you know, turning tables. I might as well like spend a little bit of time looking for my chair, checking out some tables and whatnot. Oh, here's Danny again. Do you ever wonder what your life would be like without me? Yeah, less frustrating. Probably more peaceful and the company might be more productive overall. All right, where's my chair? You know, I do notice. <gasps> Recording's light is on, I might have ruined their shot. I know you guys are pretending to be doing something, but I'll be in and out quick. Are you in the curtain again? Just looking for my chair, guys. I'm just looking for my chair. Tables. Where is my chair though? Where's my chair? There's tons of chairs in here. I don't see my chair in here. A lot of chairs in here, not seeing mine. Not seeing my chair. <sighs> is this Danny again? Yes. Grub hubbing some red lobster. What do you want? It's like eight in the morning. Oh. Something seems different. Wasn't there a table here? I feel like there was a table here. Where'd it go? I still don't see my chair. What is this table doing up here? <sighs> what are they doing? All right, I'm going into everyone's office. I'm going on a chair hunt. Here we go. Chair hunt, checking every chair. I want everyone up, out of their chairs. On your way in, did you happen to see an orphaned chair? I don't know anything about that. Is this my chair? A lot of chairs in here. I'm not using a different chair. None of them are my chair. Idiot. I'm gonna look outside, but I'm not gonna go outside. Got all this construction stuff out there. I'm not going outside unless I have to. I think me and Erica have the same chair, but I don't think that's mine. But for all of you helping me look at home, this is what we're looking for, okay? 
Danny just texted me, we're playing, right? We never just talk anymore. Look at this text thing, right? Do you see any responses from me? But it's just Danny, 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 Danny. Am I making it clear that I'm trying to ghost you, buddy? Where's my chair? What's up, what's up, bro? What's up? Do you have anything to do with my chair? <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I'm 100% certain that Danny's sitting in my chair. That's where he's hiding. You can see what I did to his chair. <laughs> oh, he probably put it outside. It's so cold now. All right, John, you wanna get your, you wanna get winter geared up? We're gonna go outside. If he's outside, oh, I don't know how he's keeping himself warm. We're on a hunt for a chair. Nothing in that one. It's where you belong, Danny. It's in a dumpster, because <laughs> you're trash. Where you at, Danny? Are you in there, Danny? Do you see all these tracks here? Those are footsteps. What size foot does Danny have? That's a big footstep. I don't know if Danny came out here and just stomped around in weird patterns just to like throw me off. How about this sound, though? Wouldn't it be nice if you could have that sound anytime you wanted it? Get your satisfying squeeze on and find the Crunchy Snow Stress Ball at vat19.com. <sighs> Where's my chair? I don't think he's outside, y'all. Let's go have Sarah lie to me now. I need to know what you know about Danny and his whereabouts today. Nothing about Danny or his whereabouts today. Okay. Would you lie to me about that? Probably. Probably. <sighs> I haven't checked the shop yet. I forgot about that. Oh my gosh, it's even messier in here than before. Another day, another mess in the shop. An anvil just out, because we do a lot of blacksmithing here, I guess. Yeah, don't put these away. This video only came out like six weeks ago. Leave them wherever you want, Danny. Don't clean up after yourself. Chair, hanging chair. Now we gotta get serious, folks. We gotta get real serious. Where is he? I'll give you one hint. It's where you least expect it. Oh. That's super helpful. You gotta make up for Danny's lost productivity. <laughs> we do it every single day. <laughs> He's texting me again. He said a fan sent this to me. It's a picture of me from today in the warehouse. Like guys, you were looking for him? This is clearly what I'm wearing today. What's going on? You're in that shirt, I think, and hidden in plain sight one. There you are, same shirt. Okay. Yeah. Um, I just, I just wear this shirt a lot, so. <sighs> no chair in here. Oh man, is he sitting on the roof in my chair? It's so cold, I don't wanna go on the roof. I don't really wanna go on the roof, it's freezing, but gotta check it out. Dude. All right. Don't think for a second that Danny built these things, okay? We're getting our roof in place. I really thought the chair would be up here. Yeah. Okay. Maybe the upper roof. Gotta check. Gotta check. I see no tracks up here. That's weird though. Is that supposed to just be like open? It definitely seems like something's supposed to go right here to cover this. You know? What? My chair's not up here, that's for certain. Got some good footsteps in the snow sound effects now. No. But folks, if you want to get that sound anytime, find the Crunchy Snow Stress Ball at vat19.com. Don't put your baby in this box. Oh! Do you see what that sticker says? There's been construction going on the roof of our building, and because of a recent snowstorm, they had to stop construction and leave all of their junk here. So I saw an opportunity and decided to take a chance on a last minute hiding spot. I've always wanted to hide on the roof, but there's not a lot up there to work with. But with the construction going on, I thought I might be able to blend in with some of that construction equipment. So John and I headed to the hardware store to look for a toolbox that didn't look big enough for a person to fit in, but... Here I am. I can't believe you fit in that. 
Then we got some tools that looked like they might be used for roofing, but Jamie wouldn't really know what they were for. I didn't know what this is for. Perfect. That way the box didn't look out in the open and alone. Next, we needed to slap the company's logo on the top of the box so he wouldn't even question what it was there for. After that, we just had to weather all the tools in the box so they didn't look brand new and we were good to go. Perfectly imperfect. Jamie's getting pretty good at figuring out how I play this game, so I have to be really subtle with my clues. Boxes like this typically come with a sticker on them that warn parents about the suffocation risk they have. That's our sign. So we've altered one of those stickers to tell him Danny's in this box. All I can do is hope that he doesn't see it. But if he does, it's over instantly. It says exactly where I'm at. It's gonna be a cold day. A real cold day. Would you rather do this than work? <laughs> I'd rather do anything than work. And by the way, Jamie also missed one pretty fun clue, so I'm gonna wait till the end and show him, that way I can see the look on his face. Danny is hiding in this box. Open his suit so he doesn't die. What? Danny? Oh, hey. Hey! This was a bad, a bad hiding spot. <laughs> Just seems good. dangerous and uh, and cramped. And I was about to go on a whole rant. Like, what idiot would put their would put a, <laughs> would put a person inside of it? That's like the worst idea ever. And then I started reading it, and I was like, no way! <laughs> I gotta be honest. This was total luck. If you had made the sticker a little less ridiculous yeah. with like this tiny baby being something I would have never looked at it twice. That's a real sticker. We just say, we just changed the words. Go oh get in boxes, kids. Yeah. But seriously, where's my chair? Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez, how did I not see that? There was one kind of red herring slash clue that could have helped you out, but you didn't find it. You were on to it. So there's something in here. That you missed. That I missed. Wait, what's going on underneath this table here? Oh, that is creepy. So it's just a dummy that's yeah, in there. That's just... But it's hiding in the same manner that I was. I got super lucky finding you. Yeah. You've probably never seen one of these before, but it's a vacuum cleaner. So you can put this guy together yeah. and you can do some cleaning. Nah. That's no, not really optional. That19.com